Hello everybody, we're back again. So Stephen Sheridan here from the Northwest Regional College Careers Team. We are still in Global Enterprise Week and a very different Global Enterprise Week as we keep saying. But today I am joined by Claire Costello who is a business consultant with Enterprise Northwest. So hello Claire, how are you? Hello Stephen, I'm grand, how are you? Ah, not too bad. So I'm working from home. Are you in the office or are you working from home? I'm in the office. I had to come back as quick as possible. <laughs> Oh, it's mad, mad times. And as a business consultant of all things, Claire, I would imagine what you guys are doing is, is very different this year compared to other years. Yes, we're very, very busy. We're busy with um, our current and past clients. Um, a lot of people have been affected, obviously, by COVID-19, and they are coming to us for help and support to try and get them through it. On top of which, uh, there's a lot of people coming through starting up businesses now at the minute. There's some really good ideas coming through. And, um, so I were kept on our feet at the minute. Oh, I can imagine. Um, so what support is there at the minute for businesses that are the current businesses? That What support would you guys provide for someone who has been affected by COVID? Well, we have a load of, um, a load of different mentoring programs. So some of the things that we have been doing um, a lot of our past and current clients were coming back to us, you know, with issues with they couldn't open. They didn't know how their how their finances were going to be running. So we did some support and helping them kind of forecast their finances in advance, get access to you know all the grants and funding that was available to uh, businesses. Um, and then also, you know, some people had to change their businesses a bit in order to continue operating under the new restrictions. So we would have sat down with them, tried to work out how they can survive through this, um, and then upskilling and retraining, getting businesses to sort of increase their presence online and see if they can offer their businesses online and stuff as well. So there's a lot of changes going on and a lot of people are doing really well and adapting to them. So that seems to be the key thing that's been able to adapt quickly right. and, uh, and keep going. So do you think, Claire, now this is anyone's guess at this stage, but do you see this as the new norm? Do you think businesses will have to make these adjustments for uh, maybe long-term future, or can you see it getting at least you know, some semblance of normality? I know it's a, a very awkward question, but what way do you see it going? Well, the way I see it is that it'll do people no harm to be online anyway. So I do hope things will eventually go back to normal, but... You know, people have their mobile phones on them. People have access to the internet all the time. Um, there were there would be a lot of businesses who, you know, maybe just had their physical presence, and it meant that they weren't able to access these these people who are, you know, primarily looking for things online. So we've been able to upskill a lot of businesses um, to get them online and to be able to extend their reach. And it's a, it's another service. You know, if you can offer something online, some people prefer to do things online regardless. So um, it'll do them no harm, certainly, you know, even if things do go back to normal. Um, and then the, the fact that they've been able to continue operating means that they're, they're still fresh in people's mind. People are still going to be using them and it means that whenever it does go back to normal, that they can, you know, they're, they're, they're coming out ready to go. Brilliant. And is that the same kind of advice then that you would give to a new business? Um, like, I mean, I, I can't ever, remember in my lifetime anyway, like a more challenging time for someone who's looking to set up their new business, but is that something that you would say to them as consider the online side of it as well? Well, yes, it depends on what the business is. Um, you know, at the minute I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of different kinds of businesses coming through, so a lot of them are online, um, but also there's a lot of the more traditional businesses coming through too, so kind of food, there's a lot of um, exercise businesses coming through because people have noticed that you know, over lockdown, whenever it was, you can only do your, you know, your exercise once a day, or this was a thing that you could get out to do. People have really taken this and gone with it. Um, and they want to continue with their, with their new healthy lifestyle after lockdown finished. So certainly there, there's some things that are more traditional, but even at that, you would still want to be able to offer them online. So for example, if you were a personal trainer, you were going in a gym, it's great to be able to see people one to one, but it, now at the minute, whenever people can't go into gyms anymore, it's great to be able to offer those classes on Zoom um, and be able to work with people that way. Um, so it's good to have the option of doing both. 
It is. I mean, we even with us, we've been working from home now, well, kind of on and off on a road kind of basis. And the fact that you can do that through the technology that we have, that is, it's been brilliant. It's, it's a great kind of, I would imagine for, like, it's solace basically for a business who had a certain business and a certain model and thought, right, now I can do it online or those ways I can evolve. So that's, that, that's very good for them, I suppose. So um, finally, Claire, is there any kind of general advice you would give our students watching this now or anybody watching? Um, in terms of, again, if they were thinking about, maybe not even straight away set up a new business, but thinking of locally set up some kind of business in uh, maybe short, medium term, any general advice you would give them? Yes, come down and see us. <laughs> um, we have a range of programs from either uh, pre-start stage, so it would be, you know, if you're just thinking about starting a business, but you haven't definitely decided what you want to do, you just want to explore an idea. Um, and then we have our startup programs, which will be you're getting ready to start the business. We'll help you look at what you need to do to get it started, um, see what your finances are going to be, how you're going to access funding, um, look at how you're going to run the business. And then once you've got started up, then we've got a business growth sort of um, programs then too, so that once you've started your business, you're not left on your own. So there's still whatever help and training and support that you need through it. So if you are looking to, or if you're considering starting a business in the dairy area, then certainly come and see us. There's, if you're in the Straban area, there's also um, Straban Enterprise and there's ones out in uh, Causeway Coast and Glens as well for anybody in the college here in those areas too. Brilliant. Well, I can vouch for that because there's been countless students of ours who you've helped uh, set up a range of businesses and a range of sectors. So with us, they've been very successful and it's a great help. So. Um, Claire, listen, thank you very much again for joining us. And uh, as Claire Costello, folks, so that's a uh, business consultant with Enterprise Northwest. So, very, very sound advice and what is very challenging time. So, Claire, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Not a problem. Bye bye. Bye.